Haycastle is a very distinctive heritage offer. Uh, it lies on the border between England and Wales and has almost 900 years of history, uh, a Norman memory, uh, going through the Tudor period, uh, Jacobean mansion into the Victorian era and has recently finished a major renovation project which stitches together the old and the new. We're trying to think about what a castle should be in the 21st century. So this ancient castle that was once a symbol of control uh, and destruction inhabited by few uh, is now a symbol of openness and creativity for everyone. We also have the most celebrated and influential festival of arts and literature. Dylan um, is very involved with the Hay Festival um, and he came on board as a co-curator to choose a group of pictures. For years uh, I've been discussing with the, uh, with the people behind the Hay Castle Foundation about what they might do when they open uh, and they wanted to, to open with something that reflected the creativity of the town. And I thought it was very important that the first exhibition here should celebrate writing uh, because Hay is a town of books. It's also host to one of the most important and influential literary festivals in the world. The themes of the exhibition are all to do with communication, identity, representation, and I very much wanted to make this as, as varied and as diverse as possible. The list was initially made up by Dylan, and then I looked at the list and thought about practical concerns, thought about the sort of variety of people involved. One of the things that Dylan was interested in was including writers who aren't maybe writers in the conventional sense. So we do have novelists and poets and playwrights, but also people who write in other ways. And we, for example, included Riz Ahmed, who is an actor, but also a screenwriter. And also we then wanted to have a range of different visual ways of exploring identity as well. So the, the paintings that we've chosen are all quite different from one another and the photographs have a range of different techniques as well. This photograph here is of Tracy Emin. Uh, taken by Mary McCartney and Tracy is portraying the famous Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Tracy has such a strong presence and Mary is such a sympathetic, empathetic photographer that I think the essence of what they're trying to do is really shows through and it's fantastic to have it here. Well this is the first time that we've hung anything in this beautiful new space um, so we are learning the eccentricities of our building, uh, where the parameters might be technically, but also how users are going to come in, orient themselves in the space, how they're going to move through the space. So we're watching this and learning how their patterns of behaviour so that we can do the best thing possible uh, by the objects we have on display here. In terms of collaborating with Hay Festival, uh, we've been working closely to think through how we can best supplement and support each other's activities. The easy part would be coordinating social media. Uh, the more challenging part is to really sit down and think through um, how we can add value uh, and how we can allocate you know, financial and staff resources uh, proportionately. In crude terms, we have the most spectacular and historic space in town and of course they have a wealth of expertise, uh, they have an immense following uh, and of course this international imprimatur of being, uh, being an international uh, successful festival. Um, so we've been sharing ideas, uh, we've been incorporating their events into our programme, um, staging events for them. In return uh, they've been helping guide us through our infancy, uh, sharing expertise, sharing ticketing and other software. Uh, and uh, the fruits are, are so far wonderful. The benefits of collaborating with the Hay Festival is that there's a huge amount of people here. And I think tying the castle to the festival 
in an even deeper, closer way is very, very important. I think that that will draw more people in and it will engage uh, both local people and visitors with the fact that the castle is another place you can come to in Hay, another place to see, another thing to do during the festival.